to show you how to make this really cool day timer cover that will hold your appointment book as well as smartphones, pens, and you can have pockets to insert items that you need to keep up with. So let's get started. I use my day timer every day. I'm recording appointments, notes, etc. And as you can see, I carry a lot of paperwork inside my appointment book as well. And I needed pockets in order to organize everything. So I start off by laying the day timer on top of your fabric. I'm using a faux leather in this example, but you can use any fabric that you choose. Now, just cut a rough draft of your cover. I'm leaving about a two inch allowance all the way around the cover. I removed all the papers and the calendar itself from the holder. Now I'm going to fold the fabric over on the cover just to make sure and ensure the fit. Next, you want to pin down the cover where it will be sewn down, as you can see here. I wanted these nice pockets on each side of my holder on the inside. So what I'm using to make um, these see-through holders are sheet protectors. You're going to take the sheet protector and you're just going to cut the little white strip off where the um, holes are. Now you fold the sheet protector in half and this folded edge will provide a nice smooth surface when I'm inserting items into the pocket. Now you want to pin the clear pockets to the inside of the flap of the holder on each side. It'll be the front cover and the back cover. Now that you have them pinned in place, stitch them down on both sides and at the bottom. You want to stitch through all thickness. And that's remember to stitch only on the inside flap. Next you want to finish off the top of the cover by folding down a half an inch. Now if you're using a fabric that unravels, you want to do a double fold. You want to make a strap and this strap will be used to secure your items inside of your cover. So you want to cut a piece of fabric that's four inches wide and nine inches long. And you want to cut a point on one end of this strap. Next, you're going to take the strap and you're going to fold it in on itself so that it meets in the center. And you want to top stitch the strap all the way down and around as well as down the center where you overlapped. You want to add two inches of Velcro to the pointed edge of the strap. Now, my Velcro is only one inches wide, so I had to make it wider. So I'm using the soft side of the Velcro for my strap. Now you want to position your strap in the middle of one side of the cover and using chalk measure the outline of the strap as it is folded over from the other side. Using this measurement you next want to cut the rough side of the Velcro and stitch it down. It will be the spot where the soft side will meet. And in this photo you can see that the strap has been completed and the Velcro has been stitched down. Now this is an optional step because I wanted handles on my cover. So I cut two pieces of fabric 3 inches wide by 16 inches long. And you can make your handles as short or as long as you like. Now take the handles and fold the fabric over three times so you got three times the thickness and it ends up being one inch wide. And you want to stitch down along both sides of the handle, the long edges of the handle. Next, you want to position the handles where they are centered on both sides of the cover and open up the cover and stitch them down through all the thickness on the front and back only, making sure now not to sew through your pockets that are going to flap over on the inside of the cover. Before stitching the inside flaps down to the outside of the cover, I wanted to make sure that the pockets would hold my smartphone. So I just simply inserted my smartphone into my pocket and then I kind of marked where I want to stitch down and then I just stitched down this location so that that will separate my one pocket into two pockets but I'm only stitching on the flap I'm not stitching on the outside of the cover be careful not to do that next you want to stitch down the inner flap to the outside of the the holder so you're going to stitch across the top of the of the holder and the bottom of the holder that completes our day minder place for the smartphone pins and you just take the cover, as you can see, the Dayminder has a back page, and you just insert it inside of the cover, just like that. So now you have um, your Dayminder here. You have pockets to keep all of your things here that you need. And you also have pockets here that you can slide information in and out as well. One other thing I like about my Dayminder is that I can take my tablet out of my tablet case and I can simply insert it in here and fold it over 
So when I travel, I close it over and I can travel with my day minder as well as having my tablet inside and it makes it convenient because you don't have to carry two covers. So I hope you try this. Happy sewing.